Hey, welcome back to another online lesson. This time we're going to talk about lesson 3.7, which is dividing decimals by whole numbers. Make sure you have your note page ready to go. <clears throat> Three simple steps to follow. Step number one, you're going to set up the division problem. Piece of cake. Step number two, you're going to bring up the decimal into the quotient. Now, most of you know a quotient is just the answer to a division problem. So, you're going to take that decimal from the bottom, move it up to the top. And finally, step three, you're going to divide as normal. Cool? Now, Make sure you have those down, and then I'm going to work you through a few examples. I'm going to do one, you're going to do one, and we're going to ramp up the difficulty as the video goes on. So, example number one. Let's say we have 6 and 8 tenths divided by 2. Step number one, set up the division problem. 6 decimal point 8, we're going to divide that by two. Perfect. Step one is done. Step two, you're going to take that decimal and you're going to bring it up into the quotient. Perfect. Step three, divide as normal. What that means is instead of saying how many times does two go into six and eight tenths, we can look at it as how many times does two go into 68. We can essentially ignore that decimal because we've already brought it up into our quotient. So how many times does 2 go into 6? The answer would be 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Cool. Bring down your 8. 2 goes into 8 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract 0. Excellent. So now we have our answer is going to be 3 and 4 tenths. Example number two. This is one I want you to solve. I'm going to do the first step, though, for you. Step one, um, set up the problem. So, we have three and five tenths divided by seven. Three and five tenths go on the inside. Seven on the outside. Step one is done. I want you to do step two, bring the decimal up, and then step three, divide as normal on your own. Let's move to the next set of math boxes. This one here, 7.7 7 divided by 14. You know how to set it up? 7.7 7 on the inside, 14 on the outside. Awesome. Step one done. Step two, take that decimal, bring it up to the quotient. Awesome. So now you're essentially saying how many times is 14 go into 77? I have no idea. Guess and check time. Let's see. 14 goes into 77. I, I don't know. I'm going to guess five times. So off to the side, I'm going to check. What is 14 times 5? 0, 2, 5, 6, 7, ooh, 70. 70 is very close to 77. I know if that I went to 6 times, that would be way too high. So we're going to stick to 5. 14 goes into 77 5 times. 5 times 14, we know is 70. Subtract to get 7, and we can annex a 0 and bring it right down. To then say, how many times does 14 go into 70? Well, we know because we just did it goes in 5 times. 5 times 14 is 70. Subtract 0. Perfect. Therefore, we know our answer is decimal 5, 5. Fantastic. Okay, this next one I want you to try on your own. This is 9.48 divided by 15. You know the three steps. I'll do step one for you. Step one, set up the math problem. Nine decimal four eight divided by 15. All right, I'll even do step two for you. Step two, take that decimal, bring it up to the top. Boom, boom, boom. So now you're essentially saying, how many times does 15 go into 948? I want you to pause the video and try to answer that. We'll go over it in class tomorrow because I want to get to a word problem.
Now, this is the number story that is probably something you could run into in real life. It says, <clears throat> that looks pretty good. Kristen and her two friends are sharing the cost of a funnel cake. The funnel cake costs $5.49, okay? If Kristen has $2, how much will she have left after she pays her share? So the question we're trying to answer is, how much will she have left? All right, let's break this down. So, first off, I gotta know. We got a group of people eating a funnel cake and they're all sharing the cost of it. So first thing I gotta know is, how many people are sharing the funnel cake? Well, Kristen and her two friends, so that's one person, and her two friends, that's two people. So we now know three people are sharing. Okay. Kristen and her two friends, three people are sharing the cost. So what's the cost of the funnel cake? The cost is five dollars and forty nine cents so we're going to take five decimal forty nine we're going to divide that by three because three people are sharing the price excellent step one set up the problem five ooh, that doesn't work. five decimal forty nine divided by Three. Cool. Step two, take that decimal, bring it to the top. Boom, there it is. So now we're just dividing out. How many times does three go into five? We know that's one time. Three, subtract, that gets me two. Bring that down to get four. So now how many times does three go into 24? Eight. Eight times three is 24. Subtract, that gets zero. And we bring down that 9. How many times does 3 go into 9? 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Ding, 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 ding. 0. Boom. So therefore, we now know that each person pays $1.83. But this is where it gets a little tricky. This is a two-step problem. Because the question doesn't say how much does each person person have to pay. In fact, it says, how much does she have left after she pays her share? Well, we know Kristen has two bucks. So after Kristen pays her share, which is $1.83, how much is she going to have left? Subtraction. We take her two bucks minus that $1.83 and let's subtract it out. Well, we can't do that with zero, so we got to make that a one. We got to make that a ten, then a nine. Boom. Make that a ten. So ten minus three, that's seven. Nine minus eight is one. Bring that decimal. Boom. Zero. We just figured out that Kristen is going to have zero point one seven, or she's going to have seventeen cents left over. Therefore, our answer to our question is, how much will she have left? 17 cents. Awesome. Hey, try those few problems on your own. Any questions you have, bring them to class. See you tomorrow.